<laughs> this is so stupid. Like, why am I doing this? What is up guys? Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a following a self-care thread for a day. Like literally a whole day. I don't know what time it is. It's technically still 2018 that I'm filming this. I brushed my hair and everything. Did my skincare routine. 11.28 so it's basically almost not even morning anymore. But I haven't even eaten yet. So, um, yeah, also I got the inspiration to do this from a YouTuber named Isla Brewer, Isla Brewer, I think that's her name. Um, she did a whole video of her doing testing self-care threads, and so basically that's what I'm doing, but I'm doing it for a whole day. I screenshotted some self-care threads that I got from Pinterest. There's one that says, how to cure depression. And it's literally so blurry that you can't read anything. But I know the first thing says, stay hydrated. How is that going to cure your depression? No, for sure. Oh, and one of them is use sunblock. Okay, I think we all know how annoying and not how annoying self-care threads are because a lot of them don't really seem to help. A lot of them just kind of like put stuff together and expect you to like do them every single day i followed like self-care threads and i wouldn't find any of them really helpful but i still follow them somehow a bunch of accounts um dedicated to self-care threads it's like a trend thing i guess but a lot of them are really repetitive a lot of them first of all um the first tip would always be stay hydrated which i don't have anything I don't have any problems with but with something that has to do with like depression or something like how to make friends and staying hydrated those don't really go hand in hand so I screenshotted two self-care threads so one of them is to the first thing is to take a nap which I don't really want to do because I woke up at 9 30 today and I'm still like tired but I don't feel like I need to do that I look for more um helpful ones i guess i kind of want to do wish there was one for morning tonight so this would be much easier but i'm doing all the hard work and having to find good ones basically on um, the beauty care one is to do a face mask or try a new hairstyle i can definitely try a new hairstyle but i'm definitely gonna have to watch a video on how to do that because i don't know how to do my hair this is kind of helpful in a way because this is kind of like um basically something you should do like every day but a lot of people don't so i'm definitely gonna try a new hairstyle probably um when my hair is kind of dry but still kind of damp i don't know i still want it to be damp because it's easier to do your hair when it's wet but the thing that I really want to do now is to, in this column, health slash spirituality, it says to eat a wholesome snack. We're in my kitchen now. First thing I do in the morning is take this D3 thing. So I'm going to do that before I eat because I don't want to forget. There's some really good apples. They're honey crisp apples. They're really good. That are still green, but my mom says they taste fine. But apparently if you eat these um when they're like green they have the most nutrients in them i really want to make an apple banana smoothie like you know um like those really bomb smoothies from like naked the naked brand try it again today even though i don't know what the ingredients are for it but i do have i think i'm going to use like one apple because i don't want it to be too gritty because like um apples kind of have that weird texture to it pretty like sounds um the oven i mean the stove is on right now because i'm about to make burgers but it's not like the healthiest thing but it's just these boca burgers but i just made my smoothie and it's honestly the most disgusting thing in the world um i don't even know how to explain it the aftertaste is bad it's like everything that i mixed in here is trying to compete to which taste should be more overpowering and then they all just end up being overpowering never gonna make again zero out of ten never make again but 
I tried to be healthy, didn't work. I just got done eating and so now I'm gonna do trying a new hairstyle because I'm honestly kind of getting tired of the buns. So I'll look up a video on how to do this up curly hairstyles. Or should I put easy because okay um easy honestly i don't know what hair type i have so i can't even like put what hair type i have because i don't know what it is it's kind of hard to find someone with the same hair type as you it's already going so bad i've been filming for five minutes and nothing i haven't even done anything so i'm gonna try to look for one off camera i ended up just doing two ponytails because it's easy and literally all the videos i watched was not helpful at all it's 12.43 and I literally got a notification for a video from someone posting their Vlogmas video and I watched two seconds of it and it was from Vlogmas Day 9 and literally, sis, it's December 28th and they're posting Vlogmas Day 9. Come all the way in and say hi. <laughs> Almost fell. <laughs> Are those watermelon socks? One. One. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is... We don't match socks in I don't, this family. <laughs> actually, I'm matching today. Oh, wow. Yeah. But, hey, guys. Okay, so I have this face mask right here. It's called Slow Down Skin by the brand The Cream Shop. This is what it looks like. I zoomed it in because I feel like I was too zoomed out, so I think it's better that I zoomed it in now. Don't know why I didn't do that in the beginning of the video, but uh, I don't know. Who knows how to use a sheet mask, but I personally feel like sheet masks don't really work. I'm gonna try really hard not to rip this because I always seem to rip face masks whenever I use them and sometimes they don't ever fit my face because I guess I have a small face but I personally feel like I have a very large face but god this is so cold oh my god oh my god oh my god oh god this is super cold oh my god it even has ears how cute I look terrifying what the heck oh my god it matches my shirt my inner third grade self is quaking right now. I'm like really internally happy because this is a panda, but I ruined it because I couldn't breathe. It's 3.34 p.m. It's still like noon. -ish. So I screenshotted another self-care thread type thing, but it looks like this though. It's not like how normal self-care stuff looks like. I don't really wanna cry because I don't really have anything to cry about so that's probably like out you know I fold laundry because i already folded my laundry um listen to that one song on repeat i don't know what song i would put on repeat honestly like let me look at it i want a song to put on repeat even though i'm kind of sick of this song but it's still good to listen to when you want to get hype you know Yeah, that song. I can compliment someone. Really I'm not good at complimenting people because I don't even know what to say. Look at a picture of him and see what I can compliment him about because this is weird. Um, I can use this picture from June 14th. He had really short hair. Nice ears? I'm going to say nice ears. You have nice ears. Okay. Um, it's been like 10 seconds and no response, so let's go on the next thing. I just know that this is going to take me forever to edit because I've been doing different clips every time. So it's 5.53, so literally it's nighttime. So I did screenshot a nighttime self-care thread thing. Um, the first thing that it says is take off your makeup. Don't have, I don't wear makeup, so that's out. And the next thing is brush your teeth, which I will do in a second but the next thing says to wash your face pretty sure this pimple grew over the past few hours i don't remember it being that big um also i have a big pimple on my collarbone and it still hasn't gone away so yeah, I just put this on. Don't know if it works. It's just a tea tree thing. It's not like the regular tea tree. 
It's basically like a Australian version of what's from Australia. It's not getting smaller and every time I turn my face, you see that. That ain't cute. Next thing is put a mix of castor oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E oil for your lashes. Okay, I don't have um, vitamin E oil or coconut oil but i do have castor oil oil gets in your eyes it really hurts so i think i'm gonna skip that i don't really care that much about my eyelashes growing that much because i think they're fine at the length that they are so next is moisturize your edges with castor oil so i could do that i could totally do that so I don't like to use that much and there's guinea pig hair literally all over it. I don't even know how that happens, but I'm going to put a little bit on my edges. The capacity I want it to be. Don't know what that is about, but it's not like super thick, but it's also not like super thin, you know? So the ends definitely need some type of oil, but every time I put some oil on my ends, it never penetrates through the ends so it's like dry um you can tell how dead it is because the curl patterns are kind of different in a way okay i just finished oiling my hair okay let me hurry this up before my dad talks to alexa yet again so what i wanted to say was that one of the things for to do like at nighttime and this little thread thing um is to Wear some comfy clothes, which I currently am. It's like 30 something degrees out. I can end this video. So I'm going to write in my journal for a little bit again. That will be the end of this video. If you enjoyed, please give a like, comment your thoughts on this video, subscribe if you haven't. Turn on post notifications so you know when I post. Follow my Instagrams, they're always linked down below. Kimonosaurus and Fate Chords. And also my personal account doesn't even have 100 followers so make sure you follow it to keep up with me other videos because they're great see you next time bye guys